Så siger jeg bare til den, du optager. Ja. Du optager måske bare hele tiden. Du kører bare. Ja, yeah. Hi, my name is Suno Wolf. I'm CTO and partner of Unity Studios. Um, we decided to update the avatar system, so our users get a more uh, natural looking and more expressive avatar system. We uh, chose to go in this direction because we're, we're using a third party service that actually enables the user to upload a selfie image and create a custom avatar based on that. So in this release we are testing out the, the look and, and how the avatar feels on our users to ensure that this is something like the direction they want to go in. So we should look more at future possibilities with avatars. We're looking at more dynamic facial expressions, lip sync, so you can see avatars using their, moving their mouth when they speak, as well as eye tracking to see where the avatars actually use, uh, looking. The reason why we focus on updating the avatar system is we receive a lot of feedback from, from our community that they want more expressive avatars. They want to make sure that they have, it's their digital self in the in Synergy XR universe. So, uh, so that's why we're going in that direction, allowing users to have a more true representation of themselves within Synergy XR. <laughs> okay. Hi, my name is Thomas Finger. I'm the Chief Experience Officer and partner here at Unity Studios. The new spaces we're introducing, uh, two of them, is um, it's an attempt to be a little more personal in the in the spaces that we have. Uh, we're trying to tap into the sort of the Scandinavian tradition of creating sort of uh, materially and spacious rooms, keep a little bit of an elegant environment around people's interactions. What's unique about the new spaces is we try to keep them personal and more, more grounded in reality. We try to see if we could sort of make them fit into a sort of a, a naughty scheme, um, have them as a, as a place that you could actually visit in reality. The fireplaces uh, try to, to make it more cozy, actually a little more at home. Um, we think the user content is very important, but it's also very important to have a, a pleasant space to actually have your interactions in. We have, uh, we have tried to have uh, things like big windows and vis uh, visibility to the outdoors, a good view, big spacious room, a lot of light coming in. And we believe that is very important to, uh, to create a good space and have a nice atmosphere behind sort of the, the goings on and interactions in, in, the, in the software. Looking at the crystal ball, we see, we see uh, the spaces becoming more realistic. We see actually our users want to actually have a presentation or a virtual version of their own environment. And we basically see scans and designs coming in that just mimic uh, reality more and more. We are, um, we're doing this now because we believe that, that the time is right to start to have this experience to be more real realistic. And we have been listening to customer feedback. Actually, people want to have more ground and more real experiences. <laughs>